So, there I was, thrown into a whirlwind of surprise when my 42-year-old dad, married to my mom for two decades, revealed he was transgender. Despite the family turning away, I couldn't abandon him. My dad, now becoming Lindsay, needed my support. Feminizing procedures, hormones, and breast implants were gradually shaping Lindsay into a believable woman. The voice surgery was particularly impressive, turning the deep tone I'd always known into a soft, feminine cadence. Once a union longshoreman, Lindsay embraced a new role as an office receptionist. Despite initial resistance from former colleagues, curiosity seemed to replace judgment. I found myself coaching Lindsay on feminine gestures. After 42 years as a man, adapting mannerisms was a challenge. Dad, sorry, Lindsay, keep your legs together, I gently reminded, navigating this unexpected journey of transformation. I took it upon myself to guide Lindsay through the nuances of feminine behavior and fashion. We spent hours exploring clothing stores, discussing styles, and experimenting with makeup. It was a learning curve for both of us, but our bond grew stronger with each shared experience. I encouraged Lindsay to embrace her newfound identity, emphasizing the importance of self-expression. From selecting dresses that complemented her figure to practicing graceful movements, we navigated the intricacies of womanhood together. As Lindsay's confidence blossomed, she began to take pride in her appearance. We tackled the challenges of hairstyling and accessorizing, transforming her into a woman who radiated authenticity. Our journey wasn't without its hurdles. Dealing with societal judgments and family tensions, we faced adversity head-on. Yet, witnessing Lindsay's gradual self-discovery made every effort worthwhile. In those moments, it wasn't just about helping my father become Lindsay. It was about fostering a sense of empowerment and acceptance. Together, we embraced the beauty of her transition, proving that love could triumph over societal expectations.